scarlet blaze. Bridge of Betrayal. The Empire achieves early success in the war thanks to House Gloucester, a noble alliance house whose vows of allegiance and safe passage were key to the quick capture of Garrig Mach. But Count Gloucester breaks his oath and turns on Burglies' troops, trapped in hostile territory with their supply routes severed. The Imperial Army's outlook appears bleak. I fear I may have miscalculated, my son. How can that be possible, Father? We have the enemy surrounded. Yes, and they have yet to give a damn. Time grows short, and soon Edelgard's reinforcements will descend upon the Alliance. Then we will hold them off at the Great Bridge. And they will find another way. If they manage to take even one of the Aramid River's crossings, they can break through our ranks. And while that may not spell immediate defeat, it will dash any hopes of Count Burglies' surrender. Eventually, Edelgard's army will wash over the land, and then, my son, we will be defeated. Speak plain, Father, I beg of you. What does this mean for House Gloucester? Do not fret, Lawrence. This was a leap of faith we had to take to better our territory's fortunes. When Claude came to me with this offer, I determined the reward to be worth the risk. If the gamut fails, so be it. All it means is that our house will have to swear allegiance to the Empire. Edelgard will never settle for such. She will demand... Oh, Father. No! I am proud of you, my son. You have grown into a man strong and wise enough to lead our house. Is there nothing that can be done? What of your dream to claim the Alliance leadership from House Regan? It is your house now. You determine our path. Besides, when the dust finally settles from this war, there may not be an Alliance to lead. So I am to submit to the Empire and carve out as big a place for our family as I can? Is that it? You would have me put an end to the Leicester Alliance? Perhaps my praise of your wisdom was ill-advised. You get ahead of yourself, Lawrence. We bend the knee only if we lose, not before. And as you said, we may yet be able to drive back the Emperor's reinforcements and win the day. Always think two steps ahead, my son. Be clever. Survive. That is the lesson I seek to impart. I had best go prepare for my final battle as Count Gloucester. However this plays out, look for a way for our house to prosper and seize it, Lawrence. Seize it! That is how Irvin Fritz Gloucester fights, and it is how you must fight as well. Well, we managed to slog our way to the encampment. Now we just have to finalize our plan. Why is it so important to hold part of the Aramid Riverbank again? I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to cross over into Alliance territory before it's too late? If we do, we risk the enemy cutting off our retreat. We are here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. If we don't conduct this rescue carefully, we'll be worse off than we started. We must be smart. And that means establishing at least one bridgehead in addition to the Great Bridge of Murden. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. The Minister is a general of much endurance. He will be holding out until we arrive. He is more than a warrior and a maker of strategies. It would lack wisdom to be making an enemy of him. Yep, that's my father. No one can beat him. I just hope I can be half the warrior he is one day. I think even one and a half Burglises would be more than enough. 
but not that it's any of my business. So what are we to do about House Gloucester? They have indicated a willingness to swear fealty, for whatever that pittance of a promise is worth. That leaves only Phlegathon and Ordelia, and I doubt very much that anyone would take us to task for dismantling them. The head of House Ordelia is one of the five great lords. Dismantling them, as you say, would hamper Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively in the future. Consider, for example, why we chose not to dismantle House Iyer. Because I belong to House Iyer, and you did not have to. Ah, of course. You are happy so long as they install successors who are willing to toe the line. That is the plan, yes. House Phlegathon, however, must be disposed of. Their lord, Acheron, has leveraged his control of the Great Bridge to do whatever he well pleases. I have a suspicion the Alliance desires him gone as badly as we do. Lawrence Gloucester and Lysithia von Ordelia were Her Majesty's schoolmates, yes? They may be more willing to listen to reason than the others. Sure, but Claude went to the Officer's Academy too. And he's taken a firm stance against the Empire. Do you really think this can be handled via diplomacy? That will depend on precisely what their demands are. But first, we must retake the Great Bridge and extricate Count Burgles and his troops. Let us focus our energies on that for the time being. Agreed. And it would behoove us all not to overlook how devious Claude can be just because we went to the Academy together. If he's not willing to come to the table, I won't hesitate to meet him on the battlefield instead. I won't hold back either. Sometimes you have to kill old friends in this line of work. That's just how it is. What did your investigation uncover, Hubert? It appears those who slither in the dark had nothing to do with any of this. This plot was hatched by Houses Regan and Gloucester alone. In other words, we know exactly where the idea to encircle our troops came from. Claude Von Regan, leader of the Alliance. He is going to be a true thorn in our side now that he is in charge. Back when Duke Regan had no clear heir, the Lords were busy maneuvering to be next in line. Then Claude appeared in an instant and laid claim to the seat of power. We were hoping that would be enough to throw the Alliance into disarray, but he has done a remarkable job of seizing the reins. Feigning discord with Gloucester while they privately schemed together was an especially nice touch. Sadly, it seems we're facing a gifted tactician as well as a skilled leader. Yet for a tactician, he woefully underestimated Count Burglis. I say we finish his education. It is time Claude learns the gulf between his power and the Empire's cannot be bridged with a few clever tricks. We'll reach the Great Bridge of Murden soon. Houses Phlegathon and Gloucester are defending it, just as we anticipated. But Ladislava has done her job and broken through the enemy line for us. I intend to claim a swift victory and return her to us whole. If possible, the members of House Gloucester are to be taken alive. As we discussed previously, killing them will jeopardize Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively. 
If any enemy commanders appear open to persuasion, try to convince them to surrender. Our goal here is not to utterly annihilate our foes. The fewer casualties, the better. That said, anyone who refuses to submit must be struck down without mercy. I know when to catch and when to kill. I am often being faced with such decisions on the hunt. You, you expect me to make that kind of decision in the heat of battle? You just do what you always do, Bernadetta. If it's all right with you, I'd prefer to focus on the diplomacy part. I'm not much for bloodshed. Then you may leave that part to me. I will happily deal with any soldiers you cannot. It should be a simple enough matter to determine which of our enemies wishes to live and which will choose the way of death. We'd better not misjudge anyone, or else our lives will be the ones in danger. Then we should fight first and ask questions later. When in doubt, take them out, am I right? We can sweat the small stuff when the battle's over. Until then, I'll do what I do best. I believe we should all do what we do best. If we do, I feel confident we will emerge on top when the dust settles. Victory is the most important thing, so leave the vanguard to me. Then, if everyone is prepared, let us show them the might of the Empire! They certainly are not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No they must learn. Right then. <laughs> it's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. There's not a question of can. But leave this to me. So... Sure, let's... Leave this one to me. That's Stand. fooling around with these defenses. Count Gloucester must be located on the far bank. Vladislava is holding the central checkpoint. We'll mount our attack from there. The checkpoint is our key to taking the Great Bridge. Without it, we have not even a slim hope of victory. Her Majesty is counting on me, and I will not let her down. They have her surrounded. Time for a rescue. If we rush in heedlessly, we'll be trapped along with words. We must secure the route as we go. It never hurts to have a safe place to retreat to. I feel no it mercy. takes a trickster to recognize a trick. And the enemy is being suspiciously fucked. As urgent as it is to retake the checkpoint. I believe the West should be dealt with first. This stronghold will fall! The enemy is here? How did they catch on to us? Right then. Let us go. <laughs> it's Bernie's time to shot. Sure hope this goes okay. Here I go. They must learn. So... Sure, let's try it. There's not... Leave this to me. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. I've got... Take a breather. No! Their main force was supposed to head to the checkpoint so we could ambush them. Intercept! 
intercept. We were wise to strike west first. I fear it would have been a disaster otherwise. What say we take that ballista for our own? Nowhere to run. Lay down your arms and we will spare you. Surrender to the Empire? Never! Not so fast! If you want through, you've got to open those purses and pay the toll. Irritating places to lay an ambush. I chose to be here, and I'm going to fight the Empire to the end. This man is a mercenary. Perhaps offering a reward will allow us to avoid a fight. <laughs> Looks like you'll be my first real challenge. In Not a problem. I'm here to help. Sure hope this goes over. Sure Nate. Now let's do this. You know, I got no interest in dying. How do you know? Unless you keep living. I mean, things like this tend to have a way of working themselves out, you know? I guess so, but. All right. I surrender. The arrows have stopped. Let us proceed. No! And just surrender. Besides, you're a clever man. You know the Empire won't let someone as strong as you rot in a cell. She got a point. My thanks. Mind taking it from here? Rest, Ladislava. What should I be doing with it? Sure, let's try it. There is not a question. Leave this to me. Here I go. They must learn. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Not a problem. I'm here to help. This is a great achievement. You honor me, Your Majesty. May victory be yours this day. Now we can fight on even footing. I can still find something! Those are my lands at the other end of this bridge, and you lot are not welcome. There is a fool even by a Let us do them a favor and introduce him to an early. I will gladly handle this. Orders, leave this one to me. That's my cue. There is not a question of can, only a matter of will. My will is theirs. So, sure, let's try it. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. Great. <laughs> Listen up, rogues. You will defend the supplies we stole from the Empire to the death. I can already smell the coin they'll fit me. They have our supplies. 
must smite them before they can make their escape. Stealing is the of great evil. You will be returning what you took. I am Acheron, savior of the Alliance. Oh, and that's a good one. So we just write that down here. So, sure. Let's here I go. No, they must learn who they're up against. There's not a question of can. Only a leave this to me. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm not fucked. I will capture this strong. Right then. <laughs> Trustworthy man. Thankfully, he lacks the skill to back it up. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No, must they must learn who they're up against. So sure, let's there's not a question of leave this. <laughs> They've been done in. <laughs> well, my life is more valuable than some treasure anyway. This guy is the worst. Stop making your underlings do all the work, you coward! <laughs> Can't you idiots see I'm in trouble? Now stop standing about with your jaws slacking and kill me already! I should have switched sides! But I had the chance! Alliance's land is lying As well as Gloucester's land. So, they've taken the Great Bridge, have they? That makes us the Alliance's last defense. There must be a way to resolve this matter without further bloodshed, Father. Not a problem. I've got this. There's not a question of can. Only leave this to me. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's right then. Let us... <laughs> I will see my. I will gladly handle this. Orders with its Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Leave this one to me. That's my. <laughs> our first priority is to find Count Gloucester. He was on our side once. He'll surrender. There is no telling where the enemy might be lurking. We have no choice but to seize control of the entire bridge. We want some sort of makeshift bridge. We could reach Count Gloucester without relying on our flying units. What about the supplies we recovered? We can use those to construct a bridge. Not a pro I've got this. <laughs> Our foothold is secure. Now we need only capture the enemy commander.
must learn who they're up. Not a problem. Move out. Those are Gloucester lands you see beyond me, and I will not suffer one heel of your boots to sully them. Gloucester is known for its tenacity. My, I'm more wounded than I realized. Enough. Stand down. Count Gloucester will soon be in our custody. Further resistance can serve no purpose. So be it. I am no use to my people if I die here. Lawrence, no! You monsters, how dare you hurt my son! Count Gloucester will not concede so easily now that we have damaged his precious heir. I will not shame my people by surrendering to you without a fight. They must learn who they're up to. There is not a question of can. Leave this to... Majesty. All of House Gloucester bows to your will. Victory is ours. But this is merely the first step of our rescue. Right you are. We need to relieve our allies who are embattled on Alliance lands. We won. This is no time to rest easy. There's a lot more work still to be done. Agreed. We will leave some troops here with the wounded to hold our position. Then take the reconsolidated force north without delay. Sadly, there can be no victory celebration until we have extricated Count Burgleys and the others. Based on our projections, they will run out of provisions at any moment. We can also assume they know we have made it to Gloucester meaning they will be waiting for us. But each hour they wait is another hour their stomachs remain empty. If we peel away House Gloucester's troops, we can create an opening in the enemy ranks. Once that's done, we'll bring an end to Claude's shady scheme. Kill is to grow stronger. Now I can be even more useful. Great things await me. I'll use this strength to perform mighty deeds. I'm getting better, but at what cost? The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice.
I imagine this will serve me well. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. I'll surely put this to good use. This power will serve me in the times to come. Interesting. It seems the Empire may not want our heads on pikes after all. That is good news. I was concerned they might be so upset as to seek your execution. But based on their posturing, it seems those fears were groundless. Well, I am an effective lord, if I do say so myself. They must realize taking my life would make it difficult to keep order on my lands. Few lords anywhere in Fodlan are as loved and respected by their people as you, father. Perhaps. But if so, that only makes my misjudgment all the more grave. I never should have let that man cajole me into starting such a needless fight. You say that now because we lost, but would your appraisal not be different in the face of victory? The people would have idolized you for ushering House Gloucester toward even greater prosperity. Questions of what if matter little after you lose a battle, and even less after you have misled your people. The time to judge the right and wrong of things is before, not after. It is for this reason that I have decided to yield command of our house to you. I only pray you might walk us back from the terrible misstep I have made. Besides which, the Empire still views me as a traitor. If I fail to step down now, I will spend the rest of my days wondering when the axe might fall. I... I understand, Father. With all that has happened, it is hard not to see the wisdom in your decision. I will find a way to build a newer, stronger House Gloucester alongside the Empire. And just as it did before, our house will shine brighter than any in Leicester. Your Majesty, Gloucester has yielded his lands and titles to his firstborn son, Lawrence. This new Count Gloucester has expressed a desire to join the Empire. No doubt, he wishes to make his loyalty plain by taking a clear stand against House Regan. Well, I see no reason to reject his offer. See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, Your Majesty. Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, and I'd like to do the same. But not just anyone can hold Gloucester territory together, and I have no one else to take Lawrence's place. I suppose no one would put up with the aristocracy if it didn't afford some sort of stability. Yes, that is simply the way of things in Fodlan now. But as I've told you, I intend to change this. The age of deciding our rulers by blood must end. A day will come when anyone can vie for the right to rule, and then we will be free of this wretched system. So stand with me, help me make it so.